Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. Christmas Eve is here. So good morning to all of you last minute shoppers because I know there's a few of you out there. Um, I wanted to talk this morning about random acts of kindness. Um, yesterday I was driving to work and I had two minutes to get ready to go to work. Um, it was supposed to be bad weather yesterday and I was waiting for the sitter and the kids were running around and the dog needed to go out and it was just one of those mornings, you know, where you're trying desperately to get yourself together. And um, I asked Michael to grab my breakfast out of the refrigerator. Now, I eat the same thing for breakfast every day. <laughs> it's a slice of Ezekiel bread with a smashed soft boiled egg and a smashed half avocado on top of it. He knows what I eat for breakfast, right? He hands me a bag, two hard boiled eggs in the bag. I'm running out the door, I get in my car and I'm like, what? Really, two hard boiled eggs? And I'm like literally steaming over the fact that he, he, A, doesn't clearly, really, you know what I eat for breakfast. What is this? But I'm annoyed because I don't want to eat two hard-boiled eggs for breakfast. It's not the end of the world, but it's not what I want to eat, okay? You know how, like, you have your thing and you want your thing and then someone gives you something else. You're like, this is not my thing. Anyway, I'm, I'm like, annoyed by the eggs. So I'm driving to work and I pull off the main road, don't ask me the name of it. I've lived here eight years, I don't know. And I pull off to the First Avenue North exit in Birmingham. And I come to the bottom and there's a homeless man. And he looks like he's had a really rough night. And I start looking around for money. Where do I have anything? I need $2, valet money. Any, I usually have cash hidden in my car. I have nothing. And I look at the eggs and I go, oh, he's not gonna want this but I'll offer it. So I open my window and I'm like, hey, I don't have any money, but I have breakfast. And I take my embarrassing bag of two hard boiled eggs and I go, oh, it's not, it's not very appetizing. I go, but I have this and it's in a plastic Ziploc bag. And he looks at it and he goes, are those hard boiled eggs? And I go, they are, they're fresh at least. We, they were just made. And he goes, I haven't had those since I was a child. My mother used to make those. She loved them. And he was like, thank you. God bless you. And I was like, God bless you. And I drove away. And I realized that, that I am so unbelievably blessed in my life that when I can take two fresh hard boiled eggs for granted and be annoyed that it's not exactly what I want when there are people who would give anything for fresh eggs for breakfast. I need a wake up, a little. And so I got to work and I thought, you know, it is important for me to be humbled. I need that. I need that to stay in check. Other people stay in check. They stay in check just fine. I need that to stay in check. Like you wasted 10 minutes of your life being annoyed over the eggs. Meanwhile, now somebody is thrilled that they have those eggs. So got me thinking about random acts of kindness and people leaving comments for me that I am such an amazing person or I am so awesome or whatever. And I appreciate it. Believe me. I see it and it makes me smile every time. But I need, okay, so I'm, I, I am, but I'm not. In that I have to actively think of others. It's still, it's like a muscle. Random acts of kindness, thinking about other people. This is a muscle that you have to exercise, at least for me. Like I have to practice thinking about it. Because I can become very consumed in Jamie's world. Jamie's world's very busy. Jamie's world's very time consuming. Uh, I'm involved in a lot of projects. And I can become very caught up in my own 
busy, right? But thinking about others is the most fulfilling thing I have, the most fulfilling change I have ever made in my life. Just thinking about other people and not thinking about myself has brought me more joy, more enlightening, more positive karma than anything else I have ever contributed to this planet. That is the truth. Random acts of kindness that don't even have to cost money. Smiling at someone before they smile at me. I used to walk through the world with a stank look on my face like people owed me a smile. You're going to work for this smile. You want me to smile at you? You better work. Really? I am not RuPaul. And nobody needs to work from a smile for me because smiles are free and you should be giving them away, Jamie. Shame on you. Hold, holding the door for people. Like I literally go into public situations and think, who do I want to be? And what experience do I want to leave people with? Like just try, Jamie. Try. Try kindness. Try smiling, try manners, try these things matter. So on this Christmas Eve, I say, practice, practice, exercise the muscle, random acts of kindness, smiles, manners. Use somebody's name if you know it. Offer to shake someone's hand. It doesn't have to be money. People think random acts of kindness has to be paying off a layaway or buying someone's coffee. If you can't afford to do that, don't. Hold a door and say, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. God bless you. Whatever. Looking someone in the eyes and smiling. You look nice today. I like your shoes. Whatever it is, practice it and see how good it makes you feel. Because sometimes all we have to give is two hard boiled eggs. And the amount of joy that those eggs can bring another person, you just never know how bad somebody needs a smile. So today I ask, in the name of Coffee Talk, one random act of kindness, and I would love to hear about it, anything. Find an old pair of socks in your house, that still have the tags on them. You never wore them. You swore you were going to, but you never did because they were funky or too hot or whatever. And just hand them to somebody who may need them. Or when you make your breakfast this morning, a bagel, whatever, make an extra one and give it to someone who may need it. Or smile and hold the door for someone. Look them right in the face and say, Merry Christmas. You don't know how far these gestures go. I love you so much today. Have a great day.